Nos anos de 2016 e 2017, alguns jogadores brasileiros fizeram história e levaram o CSGO Nacional ao topo do mundo. Durante esse período, eles venceram dois Majors e diversos outros campeonatos. Pensando nisso, nesse vídeo eu separei algumas das melhores jogadas desse período tão marcante para todos os brasileiros que acompanham o CS. Up Pop Dog into Winner, down onto the B bomb site. Taco's there. He can stop all of this madness with the Famas. There's the first frag. Now there's a tentative approach. And oh, he gets three players in a row. Taco, massive, massive moment there for Luminosity. And he pivots all right. Appeared on the radar due to the smoke out in front of Taz and Fallen. WP, he's not sure which way to look. But he gets his right with a shot on Taz. Turns and Fallen at a big moment. He's going to drop bomb, take down two out toward Long and Bialy, the one he was looking for that did come through drop. He's left alone and he knows Fallen's over there somewhere but where could he possibly have gone well right there Bialy right there on map point for SK as they take bench leaving Cold Zera in a one on four there's the first looking for a stack and he connects it oh and he gets a third as well surely he's not gonna pull this one off oh Cold Zera the man the myth the beast você tem algumas skins paradas no seu inventário e gostaria de trocar por melhores, você pode fazer isso de uma forma simples no site Skins Monkey. Acessando o site e usando o cupom SCOUT do canal, você ganha 5 dólares de bônus e também, quando for fazer o depósito, você vai ganhar 35% de bônus. Usando o cupom SCOUT mais o bônus do site, depositando 100 dólares, você vai receber 135 dólares. Você também pode conseguir uma skin participando dos sorteios disponíveis no site. Acesse na descrição ou no comentário aqui embaixo. Seja bem-vindo ao canal SCOUT FPS. Se você gostou dessa ideia de vídeo, deixa o like aqui embaixo e também inscreva inscreva-se no canal para acompanhar os próximos conteúdos. Isso é muito importante, é só clicar ali embaixo que além de ajudar o canal, você vai estar tá recebendo conteúdos parecidos com esse. This is the kind of fallen I much prefer and he's going to take down device. Smokes up behind him. Oh, oh, shot. oh my god, taking down Sip and another one fallen trying for it. Fell set it back it of SK Gaming. A third and Olaf. It's going to end cold here. Now Taco does take him out from behind. There's one member so incredibly close. There could be no way. Oh no! What is happening? He actually gets that press! Remember, they all had armor in Tech 9s. Well, he's now picked up the MP7 that Skadoodle dropped early on, but he won't get any further than that. He will not get a bomb plant down. Cold's just fighting at this point to try and salvage the round. There's no way plant is in mind. It's all about kills. It's a one versus two. Knows one's close as well, based on the nade. Doesn't really have the range. The CZ has the accuracy. Oh, oh! He gets off with Cold Zero! What a win! To anything. SK Gaming, though, they have two men still in position, and look at that headshot from Taco. They know this is going to be a beat hit, and all of that distraction from Astralis hasn't really helped them at all. Taco landing one more headshot, taking down Dupree, looking for a third. He's calmly clicking away. There's a third coming in. Taco doing more. Fourth headshot, and the round has been won. He's going to burn. He's going to drop that smoke. Here come the UMPs. Rushing right out. Neo almost jumping on top of Bolts, who sets up a great quad kill, spraying down every single member, and that's overtime. 15-15. Oh, Zara, Nico chimes in as well. Now there's a chance. And Nico's got the AK back up. So Tudor's carrying it. Very good reaction from FaZe. They knew what they wanted. Kerrigan's kill certainly helped. But Phelps wants more. And if they go into a double overtime situation, still a two versus two. Kits on both. Nitro to find Phelps. All down to Cold Zera. 14 HP, but forget that because it is Cold Zera. And he is so good in these situations. He tries to get the shot out, he's gonna pinch oh! him in, he's got a leash, low HP as he goes back in with the up, and that is why Cold is the best in the world! And we've got more! We'll be going down, and now it is a one on two. Taco looking to see if he can close it out here and win it for the Brazilians. It's gonna be a big turnaround there, hits the headshot on Sousa, now it's a one on one. Guardian versus Taco, it may just be destined to be, and it's Luminosity winning their first major championship! to make a miracle occur. And he may be able to get the bomb planted. Not too bad, all things considered. Oh, and he lands the fast shot onto JW as well. That opens up the chance now. It's still fleeting. It's still just a glimmer of hope. A light at the end of the tunnel. He's playing this one very passive. Waiting, gambling that both players come from the same side. And he is correcting that assumption. He's going to get a second. Surely not! Fallen! Oh my god, what a play! Out of nothing, he picks up a 1v3. Para ganhar mais alguns segundos ali de tranquilidade. Será que vai ter uma flash? Vai ter sim. Flash bang na entrada da caverna. Encontrou o Nipper e o Fest leva ele. Vai levar o Modi. E já saiu com a vantagem. Volta com o desertivo agora em mãos. Encontrando o Snap. Pesce o terceiro. O quarto. Cadê o Ace? Cadê o Ace? Ele busca os cinco jogadores. Ele tem que ter as flechas. Ele tem que ter as flechas e fanatic. Eles precisam fazer isso agora. 
It's a good trade to start off with. JW going down for Cold Sierra, and now Taco got a full next, actually. That's all of my hitting a shot. LG, they need to move faster, otherwise there was rotation. It's gonna come in from Fnatic. There's a good push going in. FNX picking up one all over the refrag for FNX. Now a triple, and he's trying to see if he can pick up this USPS. He's got the bomb right there, but he can't make it down the stairwell. And he's alone in this one-on-two. He's finally got the bomb. And he's got 25 seconds. That's not a lot of time. If he runs and they hear him, how is he going to get out from behind the bomb box here? I think he's actually playing this to try and see if he can get the kills instead of playing the bomb. This is such a big risk right now. And Fnatic, they're just not buying it. Now they must have heard him and they're going to make the rotation. But the, the problem is now when he plants, he can't make it out and he's stuck in here. Just getting the bomb down. He's going to have to take the fight. There's the one shot. Fnatic. Oh, no! He continues to deliver in the clutch. Match sense. And there's only one player immediately on the bomb, so that's Taco in the boost position. We'll see whether he can get some frags from this. There's the first one, not messing around, not letting players pass, just going for every single kill. And that's exactly what Taco is going to get. That's four in a row for him. Where is the response? He's ready for it. He's going to be ready for oh. box, or is he? Because Cold catches him off again with good accuracy. He's lost Taco. Gives them a man advantage on the clock nine side, but Cold is still wreaking havoc. Look at him go. He's got it down to just Skadoodle remaining. Bomb is dropped. They can't get to the site, but Cold doesn't care where they go. He's just going to put them six feet under and make it six. Bomb side, FNX, he close here with the AK in hand. He's going to lose a teammate. He takes the one fight, goes for the follow-up. He's going to spray down another one. Stream still defusing. He can't get it. Luminosity going to win the round. That's two more. Don't let him come alive. That's gonna be scary. Look at the shot on Taco. He's got Cold walking in next. Whoa! Oh! oh my goodness! Line up the hat trick and pull the rabbit from the hat. It's all done. Taco. Oh, you could see what he was going for, and he did land a dink, I think, onto Chris J, knocking him exceptionally low. Now Fur has the control of the bomb. There's 16 seconds left. This is actually in the realms of possibility. The Molotov is going to wreck him, though. He has to move out. But no one's pushing behind this. It's going to be two separate 1v1s, and Fur is potentially on track to pick this one up. Unfortunately, he switches across to an AK with only one bullet. Can he land it? Not quite. Chris J is so close to timing out, and Fur's got it done. It was the scrappiest of rounds, but it's SK being run by Ford. Smokes down on the site, but there's a flank coming in. FNX, is he going to realize that he could get taken down before he can do anything about this for his team? Dancing around the smoke, and indeed, he's going to let Smiths pass. The bomb is about to get planted. FNX widening his time, but maybe their advantage has been lost. FNX waiting for the perfect moment, and he's going to play this patiently. There it is. There's the first frag from FNX. He'll get the second as well. And now Bullet can go in, but it's down to screen. He gets the first kill, but here comes FNX. All four kills to FNX and the defuse. That's exactly what very well orchestrated push coming out of Nip. That was very restrained. Nobody sort of got got really panicked. And obviously, that Molotov that landed on FNX was beautiful. So now, Cold hiding at the edge. And he has got a kit. I don't think Nip are going to let this one go. But we've seen crazier things before. Cold not waiting for the time to run out. Going to go and pick up the kill on one. Threat going to go down as well. Gold Sierra now in a one-on-one -on -one against Exist. He's got the time for it. Running behind the crate here. Exist has to run straight away. There's a lot of time to run. And Exist, he's trying to position himself closer. There's going to be the straight defuse. Exist waiting on the side. Cold, he's going to get a shot. He actually gets it. He'll have enough time. What a clutch coming out. And Cold Sierra. And Fallen gets the spray shot anyway. What is what? that? What? What? what was that? Plant down. Cold Zera, 68 health. Surrounded by camp terrorists. He's going to get the first as Skadoodle goes peeking. Oh, and nothing's gone down too. This is going to get a bit interesting now because Shrew's on only 11 health. He's going to be the next to fall. And now Automatic's going to try and salvage this. And Cold Zero with the spray. The UMP clutch on point as SK somehow steal around away from Cloud. Look at Phelps. He's got so much information. He's already pushed out towards B. He needs no support. Doesn't need a second player there whatsoever. So Fallen's going to be on highway. Quick rotate over towards A. Cold Zero is going to be in mid as well. He'll stick around for a little bit longer to watch for a flank and then he'll be able to help out as well. Here comes the execute. Oh, that's a nice pop flash. Taco's completely blind. Fer gets one and a second. Oh, what a shot. That is disgusting. Can he do more? He's staying alive, though. That's incredible. He actually got mixed well. What is this? Chased away. More time being bought here by Astralis. They have no kit, SK Gaming, so they have to move quick. And looking for the headshot. It's falling. He's not going to find it just yet. So, oh, never mind. Finds the one on Glaive. But the Vice is there to trade. And now it's all on cold with the AK. There's the one. And the pressure is on. The Vice with only three HP. And he's to win this fight. And it's not going to happen. But I think once again, I think once again, there will not be enough time for the defuse. And SK Gaming. It's so it's damn It's not going to happen. It's not gonna happen. No way! Come on! 
And while they succeeded initially, they failed to watch their flex. Look at this, Taco rushes right in. The first headshot, the second one, and the follow-up onto the third. Perfect. And he even grabs that final kill as well. <laughs> Trying to hold on to the AWP. Nine kill on Oscar. Give it a go, maybe. He might, you know. With that kill coming in quick enough, he'll go peek at least to see what's going on. AWP, Molotov toward Palace. He's going to get very aggressive very quickly. Chris is well removed way out toward A-Main, and Rops has done very well to give himself time and space. Falling up close, though. Get to no scope. He's tapped the bomb as well. He's got a kit. He's going to try and bait Chris in. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I don't know if he's got it he's or not. He just barely does. That's incredible. To start it off in what looked like he was just innocently oh, on the right. So both top mid and all the way over toward Atrium. Taps and goes quick. Cold Zero is quicker. Gets a second as well as the bomb will go down and follows it up. They're all lining up. Cold Zero with an ace. A beautiful one as well. And he's elated for good reason. It's going to be guarded. Now it's time to fall back. And he's fallen going to be capitalizing there as well. As I said, you've won the round at that point. Why are you giving your orb away? But still, fallen battling on here. It's going to be a three on one situation. Five seconds. He knows it. Yeah. He's going to he get that bomb down. Right in the nick of time, and Navi are going to be sitting there quite literally on the opposite side of the map. Oh, and he is just waving a flag saying, come and get me. 17 points of health in a dream. This would be an ace clutch from Fallen. I'm believing. You're, you're a bit of a believer. Would you suggest that you don't want to stop believing? Why don't you cast around? Okay, tags up. One. He's going to get... Oh! oh! I'm starting to believe as well, Henry, because he's got to take and flame. Oh! because there goes Zeus, saving the day for Na'Vi, but could you stop? He's actually got away with it. Zeus is out of the round. No way. No, He's my actually God, won the round. has done this. Yeah, I mean, one versus Zeus. two. And it's Rain and AZ playing very passively on this. Need the monster, smartly so. Right position, smoke on it. FNX gonna tap and hold. They're tapping fake. Gets one on AZ. He's gotta get on this soon, though. Starting to tick faster and faster, and he will hold it now. This is going to be full. Oh, Rain's on the wrong side of it. No, don't let the shutout happen oh, like God. this. And they're going to hold it. 11 nothing. FaZe can't oh. buy a break. Oh, he gets knocked as well. Oh, oh no. my God. Oh, SK is going to try and walk back in. As they both get close enough, Rain, considering upper has Alu go look low. Hits the diffuser. Fall and get oh. That is incredible. That might be the game in itself. An absolutely brilliant play from Fallen as he nails both shots. It's on to Nico. He's heard Phelps drop back down, but he's got to try and bait out the time. And Phelps won't allow Nico to work with much. He's down to 10. And he goes to the off for desperation, but Phelps has had enough. And SK win it. That is all falling. Down is short. And the defense so far holds. Look at Fo, he's walked up behind him. He's ready. He wants more kills. Flashbang going through. No, but so oh, they're stopping each other. It's going to be Snacks going down for Gutting him with the gut knife, and it's going to be Cold Sierra next in line, dropping Pasha. Oh my god, Luminosity. Yeah, so he's got to hit these shots. We saw Fall in this, in this spot before, the same spot, with, but with much more utility to work with. Here he comes once again. The first base is a trend. He's going to hit the ground there. It's Cold. Oh, oh what? A jumping double from Cold. What is there going on right now? How does he do this? Cold has saved Luminosity with the all play. Unthinkable scenes there on the B apartments. They needed a huge play, but that was something. More around the corner, he'll spot out the nade coming out. But oh, there we go. This tag's come down. FNX going to be able to hit a few shots with no kill coming out. Carrigan drops him and Fallen. Returns back on. Takes a second as well. And the third. That's going to be the quick scope there. Oh, the fourth. Fallen, what are you doing? You're not allowed to do this. And Device is going to be stuck over towards Long with 20 seconds left on the clock. That is going to be SK just ripping apart. Fallen talvez tenha sido o principal responsável por esse sucesso brasileiro no CSGO. Durante essa era de sucesso, um mapa que esteve entre os principais destaques de LG e SK foi a Trem, que com certeza é o melhor mapa do Fallen no CS. No último vídeo do canal, eu separei as melhores jogadas do Fallen no mapa Trem, que fizeram ele ser conhecido como o rei do mapa. Assista esse vídeo clicando na sua tela ou no card que está aparecendo aí em cima. Por hoje é isso, fique bem e valeu! If I can slow it down, cause it's coming too fast for me Maybe don't try, just stop it